Oh, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today, I'm going to show you how to put this cabinet in, which I built. Just an organization shelf unit that I just made uh, to help organize uh, the master bathroom. Well, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today, we're going to do a quick bathroom makeover, at least the spot behind the toilet here. Uh, I've got a shelf I built that's going to drop down beside the toilet and several shelves going up. So we're going to have to eliminate this uh, towel rack and this towel shelf that we've had in here for a long time, just an old metal rack, kind of a pain in the butt. So this new system ought to make it a little bit easier. Uh, Cause it's a relatively, a relatively small bathroom, not a lot of storage, except for just under the sink here. So we're gonna go ahead and get this down, this down, and put a shelf in that I built. I'll show you the shelf here in just a second. So the shelf is currently right here in my dining room. It's kind of a mess in here, so I'm moving stuff around to get this in. But it's a great big tall shelf with some wider shelving up top here. That top one we probably won't be able to use because uh, none of us are tall enough. We'll put like a decoration up there, but we'll be able to stack towels in here and then some other items in here and then it'll just drop down beside uh, the toilet. Now I got these temporary legs on it so it doesn't tip over. We'll remove those once it's in position. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be our first project of today. First thing I need to do is remove this towel rack. It requires a very small uh, screwdriver here. A little set screw in the back here. And then there's one on this side. Underneath here, should tip up and lift off the supporting brackets. We'll set this aside. I'm not sure if we're gonna put this back up anywhere. It depends if we can find a spot for it to fit. We'll see. All right, when these were installed, they were installed using the um, spreader wing things that go in and pop open. So when you remove them, you're gonna lose that part into the wall, but that's fine. We don't plan on putting it back up here anyways. Okay, just get this last one out. You probably hear that piece fall when I get it all the way out. Yep, fell down in there. But we'll save these and we can get new ones to put on this end and we can even hang that uh, shelf uh, somewhere in the future. Uh, next thing I do is gonna get just these towels off the top of here. Okay, and that one's out. Now I see there is a stud right there, which is great because it might line up with my new bracket, uh, new shelf and going up. And I see I got a couple spots of repair here. That's not for today's video, but once we do, we have a hole in the wall over here from the door handle, I'll repair that, repair these all at the same time and repaint. Uh, but let me go ahead and get that other shelf down here so we can see how it's gonna fit. No, not too bad. Swivel it around. There's a stud right here too. Perfect. Uh, so that's how it's going to sit. Like I said, we'll do this repair afterwards. So what I did is I drilled pre-drilled pocket hole screws in several spots to go into the wall. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish putting these, uh, I think I got one, two, three, four, yeah, eight pocket hole spots. I'll put all these screws in and then I'll put a few things on it so you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, that's all the screws in it. Oh, it ain't going anywhere. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, now, basically there is room. Uh, let's just see, let me adjust the camera here. I don't know how much of this stuff's gonna stay where it was. But one thing I did do specifically was measure these so we could put a double stack in here and help clear out underneath our um, vanity here because you know there's no shelves on a vanity that might be a future video too it's just a big open box and stuff just gets piled in there tips over it's a mess uh, but yeah so we're just gonna put the stuff on this thing like this I think I don't know if I really want cleaning chemicals on it. It just looks crappy. Well, anyway, I got a few things on it there. Uh, we'll fill it up, but you can see it uh, looks uh, pretty good. Definitely going to make it a little bit more organized and easy to get the towels too, because Tracy and I are short. <laughs> so that other shelf probably started right here. So everything above it. Now this top shelf probably won't use for much. I just got the floor mat up there. I'll be able to stack some towels in there 
Got a couple of the shelves, maybe we'll put a decorative plant or something on there, who knows. But uh, yeah, let me see if I can get an overall picture of it here for you. You'll have to turn your thing sideways. But yeah, yeah it came out pretty darn good. But it's a great uh, organization tool you can use in your bathroom if you want to build one of these. I am sorry I didn't show the build to this, but uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. But if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. We'd happy to try to help you out. Uh, we do have future bathroom videos coming too. We've got to do some maintenance on some caulking over here. And I think I mentioned uh, this hole in the wall that we're going to have to be fixing here as well as patching up these spots. So anyway, uh, thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please like, subscribe, comment, come back often for more videos. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.